Hi everyone, welcome to Python Osmosis, Episode 2, the screencast where you can learn Python fundamentals by sitting back and watching. I'm Ryan Shea, and today we'll be learning about using Python as a calculator. Let's get started. The first step is to open up the Python Interactive Interpreter. You do this by simply typing in Python. Within the interpreter, you can do basic arithmetic operations such as addition, multiplication, division, subtraction. Let's take a look. 2 plus 2, 2 minus 1, 3 times 4, everything you'd expect. You can even do some more complex operations by using parentheses. One thing to note, however, because Python is strongly typed, and these are all integers, you may not get what you expect. 7 divided by 3, for example, returns 2. Because the real answer is a float, and these were both integers, it's going to return an integer, and in this case, the floor. It can be useful to set variables equal to numbers for using Python as a calculator. Let's take a look. Let's set the width to 20. The height is 5 times 9. And let's calculate the area. The area is 900. The value can also be assigned several variables simultaneously. For example, x equals y equals z equals 0. You'll see that x equals 0, y equals 0, and z equals 0. Although so far we've just used integers, you can also use floats. If you combine integers and floats, your result will be a float. For example, 7 divided by 3.0 is 2.3 repeating. 3 times 3.75 divided by 1.5 equals 7.5, a float. Another great thing you can do is use the last returned variable, in this case 7.5, with the underscore. Underscore is 7.5. So if I wanted to use the value of my last calculation, underscore plus 100, I now have 107.5. That's all for today. The screencast is directly inspired by the official Python tutorial by Guido Van Rossum at python.org. 